Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's yeah, quarter past twelve. I'm just like, sorry, I'm top of this, but it's thirty three degrees, and this garage acts like a microwave, so you'll have to deal with my fat belly. Today's brew. I would do that. Don't know why. What have we got today? Today's brew. Kind of a cider, cider beer hybrid, if you like. So I knew it's called an orange minor, pineapple and mango ale, but it's yeah, half cider, half beer. Anyway, so. In here, correct the grain bill is tiny. It's uh, 2.75 kilos. So you've got 1.5 kilos of Marisota, one kilo of Pilsner, 250 grams of carrot pills. Tiny. Going for 19 liters. Bring 19 liters. That's because I'm gonna add this stuff. So you've got one and a half liters of orange juice, one liter of mango juice, two liters of pineapple juice, all going in. That's what he's doing. Then you've also got a bag of cocaine, it's a kilo of uh, more dextrin. That's what that is. And if I put more dextrin, not most of the time, you know, I'm going to do half a kilo of lactose too. Because that's what I do. So that's going in there. Here, hot chucks, 10 grams of Apollo. The IBU is are really low, something I've gone for 18. And here is 30 grams of citra, 30 grams of amarillo, 50 grams of cascade. A flame out, so you've got a 20 minute addition, a flame out addition, and a dry hop, which will be 30 grams of citra, 30 grams of amarillo, 50 grams of cascade. And that's that. The gravity is obviously going to be high, the OG 1059, finished 1034, but it won't be that sweet, as I said, it's the more dextrin. I mean, then the lactose, but more dextrin, not sweet. ABV I'm going for on here is 3.1, but obviously when I add this lot, it's going to go up. So I don't even know what it's going to be, to be honest. I'm toying with the idea of putting it in straight into the fermenter and then racking the water on top because that's pasteurized. Um, I know most people add it into fermentation, but why can't I add it? Four. you know, to get an accurate reading. Anyway, I'll decide what I do. Um, yeah, IBU 18, SRM 3.4. That will change, obviously, when I add the juice. Juice, juice. Oh yeah, let's have a look. I've done some mods. I say mods. Everyone's done it, really. On both both kettles, you see I've now got my sight glass, three-piece ball valves, and my Thermal wells on both through the old ink bird thing to get it up to temp and keep it at temp. Just need to get my, just need to get my, I'm going to chuck my solar pumps away. I'm going to get some chuggers off from that Keg Kingdom. Uh, and I'll put them on, then we'll go back to free vessel. That's it. I guess I'll catch you later. Sorry. I've got an important bit as well, the yeast. Now, so I've used uh, liquid any IPA yeasts, never this particular one. And I like the idea of a dried one. So I've got this off hapless. Cheers, Graham. 25 grams, reckons over pitch it. So obviously, 25 grams, 19 litres would be over pitched. Then it's got four and a half litres of squash juice, whatever, to get through. Anyway, so, the regular IPA yeast. Let's hope it don't go fucking. Brown. Okay, so uh, 20 minutes left to go. 20 minutes left to go. So now is probably the busy period. So we've got 10 grams of Apollo going in now. I don't know if I'm going to show it, but what I'm going to do this time, I've got my kilo of multi dextrin and half kilo of lactose in there. I'm going to spoon a litre of water out into this, dissolve it, add it back. I don't think I'll film that because it's just going to be me pouring water from there into there and dissolving it. So I'm going to, this time, wait 10 minutes, do that, add it back, come back for the whirlpool. So that's all right. Right, hello, you lot. Right, I've got the neighbour. He's learning how to do brew beer. So, so now we're at 81. 
50 grams cascade, 30 grams mosaic. Okay. 50 grams cascade, 30 grams citra, 30 grams amarillo. Shall we? There you go. It's going in there, it goes in there with it. Yeah, no. Okay, so as per usual, that's going in and then leaving it for 25 minutes and I'll come back to you guys for the numbers. Okay. Right, guys, so I've decided to take a chance. Okay, so put that out there. Basically, I know that if I put the food juice, yeast could get lazy, whatever. So, but because I'm putting double the yeast that I would normally put in a, in a shorter brew, I'm just going to chance it and see what happens. I mean, if it fucks up, it fucks up. But let's see. Um, so, I don't think it will because it's all pasteurized. However, we'll see, won't we? So, I'm going to add all of this post. So, I'm not going to wait for fermentation. I could probably get a load of thumbs downs or people saying, don't do that, don't do that. But I'm going to do it and see what happens. So, this is pineapple juice. One litre. Yeah, another one. I don't know why I really went with two litres of that and one of the other. I think it's uh, pineapple. It's a bit harder to come through the flavour, who knows? I just, I just figured a bit more pineapple would be better than the orange, for example. Let's put this in. That's Two litres of pineapple, one and a half litres of orange juice. Like so. Now, I don't have any fingernails, so... Now let's go with a litre of mango juice. Like this. Hello, Hello. Hey, back. So no, <laughs> no. So that's four and a half liters of juice. Chloe, go away because your dog hair can ruin it. There we go, like that. Now let's do the. I'm going to do what I done last time. So I'm going to put a third of this in, and now I'm going to pitch the yeast. And then I'm gonna fill it up to the top, so I'll come back for you with the numbers. Come on, hitting that red square. <laughs> Cheers, that one. So what in here? Right, brew day done. Brew day done. There we go. So before I, I I've done the recipe, and before I added the lactose, it's supposed to come out 1050. It's come out 1050. Yeah, it smells very lovely. So to be honest with you. No idea. Right, 105.0. I thought, obviously, by putting the juice at the bottom of the fermenter, that when I racked on top, it's all gonna swill it up and whatever. But you have got a fair bit of crap in the bottom. So, don't know. It's gonna be alcoholic. An experiment's part of this game, aren't it? So I'll take 105.0 as the reading, and then I'll take the reading Obviously, in two weeks' time, or whatever, as I period periodically check it. Sorry, I completely forgot. Cheers. It's my cold bucket going down lovely, especially in this weather. Right, so 1050, reckons it'll get down to 1034. I reckon it'll, I say, normally, I reckon it'll go down a bit lower than that. So I was after a low ABV beer. I'm gonna get hopefully a low ABV beer. So somewhere between three and four percent, three and four and a half percent. It'll be good. Well, I'm guaranteed three point one to seven, I reckon. So between three point one and four percent is kind of where I want. I want a nice session of beer to drink with a barbecue. And I've done it asked about face, as I said, some people are gonna say, oh what are you doing? Put your fruit juice fucking no, no, no. Okay, but I've done it just to see because it's pasteurized um as i said before there's more yeast than i'd usually pitch over double 
Yeah. So, any other lazy yeasts that eat the sugar and then can't be bothered to do the complex ones, I don't think, you know, because there's more to take over, so we'll have to see. Life is an experiment, so let's see. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a grain to glass or not, because I ain't put a video up for a little while. It's not going to be a grain to glass, because I have this, is the ginger beer one. Uh, this light probably can't see, ah, because it's crystal clear. So I'm going to shove this in the fridge in a few days. And we'll do a taste test of the ginger jester and lemon drop, because I really want to try that. Um, I'll be back in one, two, three, four, five weeks or so to try this one. Um, I hope it all goes smoothly. I hope it doesn't get infected. And I hope it all turns out okay. I hope you're all having a great week. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the football. And I hope you are uh, oh, filming this before the Croatia game. So there we go. So hopefully everything's all good. Take it easy. Catch you next time.